Placentia, where a violent crash killed a child and two others. And now the driver who is accused of hitting them is under arrest. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live at the scene with more on what happened. Tina. Good morning. Well, just in the last few minutes, police cleared this intersection and got it reopened to traffic. This is the intersection of Melrose and Orange Thorpe here in Placentia, and everything is cleaned up now. But take a look at this video from last night. The crash happened around 845, and we're told that a black Honda went through this intersection, struck a white church van, and there ended up being a multi-vehicles involved, maybe as many as six. But the main damage was to that church van. There were several people involved, and when the crash happened, several of them were ejected. Two people died here at the scene. Another girl died at the hospital. And after that, police arrested the driver of the Honda. They charged that 24-year-old man from Santa Ana with felony DUI. Now take a look at these photos. Family members say that that man in the photo, Alberto Lopez, he is one of the people that was killed in this crash. His wife was sent to the hospital. We're hoping that she is going to be okay. But her two children were also in the van at the time. Unfortunately, the girl, 10-year-old Lucero, did did not survive. Her brother is still in the hospital this morning. We are trying to get an update on his condition and the condition of the other people in that van who were injured. We are told that they were coming back either from church or from Bible study last night when they were struck. And unfortunately, it was a catastrophic uh, uh, accident. Now, as we come back out here live, we don't know if that driver who was arrested, if he is also among the injured. And we're trying to find out some of the other vehicles that involved how those drivers fared, but a terrible accident here, even though the roads back open, so many people in pain and so many people searching for answers. We'll send it back to you. Oh, Tina, that's just devastating. Thank you.